Hello, I am Dheeraj. Welcome to my channel. Imagine you are chatting with an AI assistant that is powered by a large language model. You ask, hey, what is the tallest building in this world? The AI quickly replies, it's the Empire State Building in New York. Sounds confident, right? But if you check the fact, you will find that the correct answer is the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. Note that the AI wasn't trying to trick you. It just gave you something that sounded right but wasn't true. This is one of the example of hallucination. In this video, I will discuss what is hallucination and why hallucinations happen in LLMs and most importantly, what techniques we can use to reduce it. I will also show you live examples of LLM hallucination. So, let's get started. Let us try the Gemini LLM first. I am asking a tricky and incorrect question. What was the purpose of the war of 20,045? Note that the year 20,045 has not come yet. So this question is incorrect. However, the LLM replies that it appears you might be referring to World War II which concluded in 2045. This is an incorrect reply. It should have said the year 20,045 will come in future, so your question is incorrect. But it did not say that and responded incorrectly. This is an example of hallucination. Now, let us try the latest LLM, ChatGPT-5. I am asking a math and logic question to ChatGPT-5. What single digit appears least frequently between and including the numbers 1 and 1000? It does all the calculations and comes with a table where digit 1 appears 301 times but all other digits appears 300 times. However, it is answering the least frequent single digit is 0, which is incorrect answer. Because all other digits except 1 should be counted as least frequent. This is an example of hallucination. Then I ask it again, hey, the least frequent digits should be 0 to 9 except 1, right? Then it rewrites a part of the answer and agrees to me. Note that in both the examples, the LLM wasn't trying to deceive us. It generated something that sounded believable but wasn't factually true. Just like a friend who improvises when unsure, LLMs sometimes make up information. Alright, after looking at the live example, Let's define and discuss in detail what do we mean by hallucination in the next slide. In the context of AI and LLMs, hallucination means the model generates outputs that could be factually incorrect. In this case, LLM provides wrong statistics, names or dates. Fabricated. In this case, LLM starts inventing books, authors or scientific studies that don't exist. Irrelevant. In this case, LLM provides unrelated information with misplaced confidence. Unlike humans who can say, I don't know, LLMs are trained to almost always provide an answer. This makes them prone to sounding right while being wrong sometimes. Let's discuss why do LLMs hallucinate? Hallucinations are not random accidents. They are baked into how these models are trained and how they function. Let's break down the main reasons. Training data limitations. LLMs are trained on massive amounts of internet text, but the internet has errors and misinformation as well. Not every fact is covered. If you ask something not well known, the model might guess. Models cannot fact check against a database unless explicitly designed to do so. Next word prediction nature. At their core, LLMs are statistical next word predictors. If asked what is the capital of France, the probability of Paris is high. But when asked what is the tallest mountain in Europe, if training data was inconsistent, it might generate Mont Blanc or XYZ, sometimes wrong, depending upon phrasing of the question. Lack of grounding. Most LLMs don't connect directly to external truth sources such as Wikipedia or databases. They rely only on patterns in text. Without grounding, they can't verify accuracy. 
ओवर कॉन्फिडेंस इन आउटपुट एल एल एम्स जनरेट टेक्सट इन ए कॉन्फिडेंट टोन बाई डिजाइन इवन इफ अनश्योर दे ओंट सेफ गार्ड मच दिस एम्प्लीफाइज हेलुसिनेशन बिकॉज यू जस्ट ट्रस्ट द पॉलिश्ड लैंग्वेज प्रॉम्प्ट एम्बिग्विटी समटाइम्स द हेलुसिनेशन इज आर फॉल्ट इफ ए क्वेश्चन इज वेग और मिसलीडिंग द मॉडल में फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स इन करेक्टली हेलुसिनेशन इन ए आई डोंट ऑलवेज कैरी द सेम लेवल ऑफ रिस्क इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन वेयर दे हैपन फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन हेल्थ केयर इफ एन ए आई मेक्स अप ए ड्रग कम्बिनेशन दैट इज एंट एफ डी ए अप्रूव्ड द कॉन्सिक्वेंसिस कुड बी लाइफ थ्रेटनिंग दैट इज वाई द रिस्क केयर इज क्रिटिकल इन लीगल डोमेन इमेजिन एन ए आई इन्वेंटिंग फेक केस लॉज लॉयर्स रिलाइंग ऑन दैट कुड एंड अप मिस रिप्रेजेंटिंग फैक्ट इन कोर्ट मेकिंग द रिस्क सीवियर इन एजुकेशन इफ अ स्टूडेंट आस्क फॉर ए मैथ फॉर्मूला और ए हिस्टोरिकल डेट एंड द ए आई गिव्स द रॉन्ग वन इट माइट कन्फ्यूज लर्निंग सीरियस बट नॉट लाइफ थ्रेटनिंग बट द रिस्क इज स्टिल हाई इन बिजनेस एनालिटिक्स इफ एन ए आई टूल मिस रिपोर्ट फाइनेंशियल ट्रेंड्स और की परफॉर्मेंस इंडिकेटर्स बिजनेसिस कुड मेक पुअर डिसीजन दिस कैन कॉस्ट मनी एंड रेप्यूटेशन अगेन दैट इज ए हाई रिस्क ड्यूरिंग कैजल चैट ऑन द लाइटर साइड If the AI makes up a response, for example, if it claims penguins can fly, it is just silly. However, here the risk is low. Techniques to reduce hallucinations. Now that we know why hallucination happen, let's explore how to reduce it. Retrieval augmented generation or RAG is one way to reduce hallucination. The RAG model is connected to a knowledge base like Wikipedia, company documents or research papers. Instead of relying only on memory, it fetches real data before answering. For example, it can use ChatGPT plugins or LangChain powered bots. The benefit would be factual grounding. The drawback is it requires well-maintained databases. Fine-tuning with domain data can reduce hallucination. Fine-tuning a base model with domain-specific data sets, for example, medical records, financial data, ensures the model. learns correct precise patterns the benefit is higher accuracy in specialized fields the drawback is expensive and data hungry prompt engineering can reduce hallucination carefully crafted prompts can reduce ambiguity for example instead of asking tell me about the energy uses in india ask based on official reports from 2022 what was india's percentage of renewable energy uses The benefit is it guides models towards grounded answers. The drawback is it is user dependent and doesn't fix root issue. Temperature adjustment can reduce hallucination. Lowering temperature makes model less creative and more deterministic. This reduces wild guesses but may also reduce diversity. The benefit is more predictable answers. The drawback is it might miss nuanced responses. Adding a fact checking pipeline can reduce hallucination. Add a second layer after LLM generates an answer, run it through fact checking APIs or verification models. The benefit is it reduces risk in critical applications. The drawback is it is slower, more computationally heavy. Human in the loop system can reduce hallucination. Use LLMs to draft, but humans to review in sensitive domains for example legal, healthcare, finance. Instead of allowing the AI model to work fully autonomously, human in the loop systems ensures that in sensitive or high risk scenarios, a human expert gets the final say. The benefit is highest safety. The drawback is less automation. Let's discuss the future of tackling hallucination. Reducing hallucinations is not about making LLMs perfect. It's about making them trustworthy enough for the task at hand. Future research of tackling hallucination is exploring ideas such as hybrid AI systems that combines symbolic reasoning with neural models. Symbolic reasoning, sometimes called classical AI, works with clear rules, knowledge graphs, and logic-based systems. Fact-grounded pre-training that involves training models on curated, verified data sets. Confidence calibration, which involves teaching models to express uncertainty instead of fabricating dynamic retrieval systems 
that always pulls in fresh, real-time knowledge. In short, hallucinations are a byproduct of how LLMs are built. It is not a bug. But with the right combination of retrieval systems, fine-tuning, prompt engineering, and human oversight, we can drastically reduce the impact of hallucinations. So, the next time your AI assistant confidently tells you something surprising, remember, it might be hallucinating. And the smarter we get at spotting and reducing hallucination, the closer we move towards truly trustworthy AI system. If you are interested in exploring more about machine learning, data science, and large language models, please find the links in the description of this video for more concepts, questions, and answers like this. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it insightful. If you learned something new, please like the video, share it, and subscribe to the channel. Also, consider sharing your thoughts in the comments below. Please don't forget to subscribe for more interesting tutorials and the latest updates. For more interesting concepts, questions, and responses like this, please follow the links in the description of this video.